homelessness is a growing problem demanding new solutions. Some say it's time to modernize an old Hawaiian approach using Hawaiian homelands. KITV Force Catherine Cruz explains in our top story. Catherine? Well, you know, native Hawaiians make up a good number of our homeless community, and that's why some are suggesting a pilot project designed to help Hawaiians break that cycle. Homeless people are out on the beaches, many for years. Now some community advocates would like to see the state try a three-year pilot project. It would shelter the homeless families using the native Hawaiian concept of a kauhali system, a village of sorts. I don't have it all figured out, but if we could take a, a real broad concept like the kauhali and recreate it somehow into a, a, a modern design where you have um, homeless families living in a kauhali complex with wraparound services, social services. A bill is currently before the Senate, but the Department of Hawaiian Homelands cautioned against the idea. The homeless situation is a lot more complicated and it requires a different maybe set of services that we may not be set up to do. Emergency or transitional shelters often tap into federal funds, and some fear this could put the Fair Housing Act, barring discrimination, up against the homeland's mission to provide affordable permanent housing for Native Hawaiians. In most cases, that kind of housing requires uh, government financing, typically federal. And so the restrictions on the fair housing side typically are more, you know, you know it's more restrictive. It's not like you can say, okay, well, we're going to make them just available for Hawaiian homeland. DHHL points to a new rental project in Waianae, which has come under fire by some in the community because it allows non-Hawaiians to live on homestead land. The bill would have the Department of Human Services take the lead on the pilot project, but DHS opposes a plan, saying it goes against best practices. Twenty years ago, the state tried a homeless village concept in Haleiwa and Waimanalo. Families lived in 16-foot temporary structures with water and power. But the state abandoned the project, some say, in part because of the problems it created. Now, DHHL has a list of 26,000 Native Hawaiians who've been waiting for homestead land, and many fear that a project like this would divert from those efforts. Paula?